as much as Governor Christie would like us to look past Bridgegate and focus on the fact that he's going to be Trump's transitional chairman if Trump wins the White House, Bridgegate will not let him be. It continues to follow him and trail him. As we witnessed on Wednesday. Do you just hire stupid people in Chasing New Jersey? Governor Christie's nemeses, Senator Loretta Weinberg and Assemblyman John Wisniewski, now have called for U.S. Attorney Paul Fishman to investigate further into Bridgegate, all because of the text messages that were sent by former Christie aide Christina Renna. In those text messages, which she deleted, but we now have obtained through court records, she said that Governor Christie, during a two-hour press conference about Bridgegate, flat-out lied when he was talking about senior staff not knowing about what was going on with the lane closures at the time that Bridgegate was happening on the George Washington Bridge. I tried to find Christina Renna, but she's basically gone undercover. I went to her home. Christina Renna? Okay. All right, thank you. I then went to her workplace. Hi, Hi. I'm, I'm looking for Christina Renna. She's off tonight. Oh, she's off. Mm. So nowhere to be found. I'm shocked. I did find her on Facebook. I messaged her and she said, here's the number to my lawyer. She got back to you. So then of course I called her lawyer and got a text back from her lawyer and his statement was quote, Miss Renna will answer questions publicly when she testifies at the upcoming trial, not before. So they're staying mum. I also spoke to Assemblyman John Wisniewski and asked him about the future of the Bridgegate investigation. Do you believe she lied when she was testifying under oath in front of the Legislative Committee investigating Bridgegate? I had no knowledge of or involvement in the bridge lane closures. She wasn't asked the specific question do you believe that the governor was lying when he spoke on December 13th? So if, if the issue is, did she specifically misrepresent that fact? The answer is probably no. But when you delete text messages and you know those text messages or emails or any documents are being looked for by an investigative agency, that amounts to tampering with evidence. It seems like the pressure is starting to get to him. Um, he lashed out at you when you were at the State House at that press conference. I understand what you want for your sensational video. Which he gave us by saying that, of course. That too, and a sore thumb with him is don't ask him why he didn't get the VP slot. Don't mention Bridgegate, because right. that also set him off. That was it. That's right. That's right. What do you guys think? Here's the problem. The governor has tried repeatedly to put this to bed. He wants so yeah. badly for it to be behind him, but everybody else isn't done with it yet. Am I the only one that thinks this is classic Governor Christie? This, to no. me, is just <laughs> on par Tim, right it's now. funny you say that, because I had a whole discussion with with listeners this morning on, on the radio about that. When he told that idiot to sit down and shut up, sit down and shut up. He was interrupting a press conference and he took control. This seems to be a guy under pressure. Like, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I mean, here, the state's drowning in debt. You've got a pension that's not funded properly. You've got transportation projects that have put thousands of workers now sitting at home waiting to work. And he's on WFAN talking about Bruce Springsteen and the Mets. I think he took a page out of his best friend, Donald Trump's book by insulting all of us. And it just was very unprofessional as a leader. I think he should put his words to action and actually do something to get the state out of debt.